Well, we dealt with some snowfall during the lunch hour today. Those high temperatures for the most part in the mid 20s, but we have some cold weather on the way tonight with those overnight lows dropping down into the lower single digits. So your weather headlines uh, for this evening. What are we tracking here? Well, the cold night ahead, those overnight lows, as I said, dropping down into the lower single digits. But we are warmer on Thursday. All of a sudden we turn back around and we're into the 40s for highs on Thursday before and then we deal with some snowy weather this upcoming weekend. Now, Louis and Otto live camera from this afternoon. Notice the time lapse. We dealt with that snowfall through the lunch hour today, quickly covering those roadways, making things slick. Then all of a sudden roads were pretty clear by about two o'clock. So we had a nice little two hour window with some snowfall and then the sunshine came right back out and cleared those roadways. Not too slick outside this evening as well. Lewis not a live camera 18 degrees here in Rochester. We look on Highway 52 winds out of the west at about 16 miles per hour. So winds will be breezy tonight that will drop our feel like temperatures down as well overnight. Now satellite radar clear skies, so clear skies added with the snowpack tonight will drop our temperatures down fairly quickly. We had that cold front move through, shifted our winds to the north northwest. Notice all the clear skies back to our west as well. So those clear skies, that snowpack really dropping our temperatures down. And as we look at region wide temperatures here in the upper Midwest already down into the single digits. St. Cloud at nine degrees, Morris at three degrees, Minneapolis at 18, along with here in Rochester. Notice all the 20s. All those will drop down into the teens and single digits tonight as well. More seasonable type of overnight lows. I know it's hard to believe we've been pretty lucky lately with these temperatures uh, for the most part staying in the teens for overnight lows. Not tonight. That will not be the case as those skies continue to clear. Temperatures dropping down here in Rochester, closing in on the single digits by about 11 to midnight tonight. As we wake up tomorrow morning for the morning commute, we'll have those temperatures starting off right around four to five degrees. We increase that cloud cover and watch temperatures tomorrow as well. A little interesting because we start to shift winds back to the south southeast. Watch temperatures. Now we start at about 17 degrees by 1030. So we head to bed temperatures in the teens. We wake up temperatures well into the mid to upper 20s by 730 8 o'clock. So that south southeasterly breeze warming our temperatures up and by the afternoon on Thursday, one of the upper 30s to lower 40s. Our next weather maker moves through as well. Some very isolated shower chances, a little bit of a drizzle and then some light snow behind that Thursday into your Friday. The temperature trend the next several days all over the place. Normal high temperatures time of year about 23 22 degrees. We're close to that for tomorrow at 19. Then all of a sudden we shoot all the way up to 41 on Thursday and then pretty much rise that line through the weekend will be in the upper 20s in Saturday or Sunday into Monday. So some unseasonable type temperatures on Thursday, more seasonable throughout the rest of the week. Overnight lows tonight into the lower single digits right around zero for southeastern Minnesota, northeastern Iowa, right around five degrees for those overnight lows tonight. Your forecast then for tomorrow, high temperatures will be right around 19 degrees, increasing clouds throughout the afternoon and breezy and cold conditions. Here's a look at your seven day forecast for us Says we have 41 degrees on Thursday, 22 on Friday. And we have snow, some, some snow chances then Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. I think the main chance for snow will be late Thursday into Friday. Some drizzly conditions during the late afternoon, uh, but accumulation still all through Sunday look to be pretty minor. Regardless, after you clear your driveway from today, just keep it handy. Yeah, keep it handy. Keep it in the back of the garage and it will be used here coming up the next couple weeks. Okay, thanks, Nick. It was a busy